Hello, my name is Dr. Sean Liu, and I'm an assistant professor of infectious diseases at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. As the SARS-CoV-2 virus continues to infect people throughout the world, it will keep on changing and adapting to support its spread. The Delta variant is one of several new variations of SARS-CoV-2 that has spread into the United States. The Delta variant has been shown to spread more quickly throughout households than previous versions of SARS-CoV-2. People who are fully vaccinated generally have a low chance of developing severe disease if they are infected with the Delta variant. People who are not vaccinated have a higher risk of getting infected with the Delta variant. As a frontline provider during the pandemic, I've watched coworkers die from COVID-19. I've watched COVID-19 tear through families. I've seen otherwise healthy teenagers suddenly on life support and pregnant women in the ICU. There is no question that SARS-CoV-2 is a dangerous and deadly virus. As long as there is a population of people who do not have protective immunity against SARS-CoV-2, the virus will continue to have an opportunity to infect those people, continue to spread, and have the potential to create a new variant that is resistant to current treatments and current vaccines. We encourage everyone to receive the vaccine in order to avoid this very possible and terrible situation. Over the past year and a half, this virus has infected over 180 million people around the world. About 4 million people have died from COVID-19. What do these numbers really mean? For perspective, New York City has around 8 million people living throughout the five boroughs. 4 million people is like half of the city, every other person. It's a lot of people. In the United States alone, COVID-19 has led to slightly over 600,000 deaths. For comparison, about 600,000 deaths were due to cancer in 2020, and about 650,000 deaths were due to heart disease. The COVID-19 pandemic will likely continue for several months and possibly years. It is important for everyone to keep updated with reliable information and to do what we can to stay safe and to protect our families and our communities.